bring to uh, the chaps here, and we'll talk more in a moment. We've heard from Ricky Burns. Here's Michael Katsidis. Michael, thanks for taking the time to speak with us on Box Nation. Great to see you in the UK once again. Challenging at Wembley Arena, you're taking on Ricky Burns. How have preparations gone for this interim WBO lightweight title fight? Preparations have been good. Uh, and coming into England now, freshening up, uh, the air feels great, uh, good to be here and the people have just been fantastic the way we've been welcomed here, it feels just like home. Uh, we're looking for the third world title and of course third time in England so it's going to be just a great thing come Saturday night. And you say you're here freshening up but the hard yards or the tough elements of camp was done in Thailand in Phuket once again. Just tell us what do you get from that experience training down there in Thailand over the two month period you subject yourself to? Well, it's very humid, it's very hot and it's very hard. The conditions are, are not so easy to live amongst but uh, you, got, you don't have so many people in the gym, you don't have a lot of the, the distractions that you can get and I believe in the Western world a lot of fighters have too much, of too, too much other input uh, but in Thailand very humble, very hard and Basically, it's, it just becomes your way of life, and in the ring, these are the things that make it more comfortable. So, um, th these are the reasons why we train in Thailand, been doing it for about eight years or so, and uh, now come to such a beautiful place as England, uh, I feel right at home, feel very comfortable, and uh, it's going to be just great when we get in the ring. As you say, it's your third time in the UK. You're on a two, you've won your two previous fights that you've had here in emphatic fashion against Graham Mill and Kevin Mitchell. It's given you a reputation, given you a reputation as a bit of a Brit basher. <laughs> what is it about performing in this country against home fighters that seems to bring out the best in you? I thought I, someone was mentioning this to me before when we were doing a press conference, and I thought it might be something in the air. I don't know what it is, but it's so fresh here, and, and we're always welcomed here, and the people are fantastic. And even when I fought at the West Ham uh, football stadium. And, and, and I hear that the West Ham team are the most fiery of them all. Even those people were able to appreciate worries in the ring. And, and I think just being accepted as a fighter uh, was a real important thing as to feeling at home here. And this is why I love fighting in England. And it seems to bring out the best of me every single time. How crucial is the experience that you have going to be in this fight? Because without being disrespectful to Ricky Burns, it's fair to say that he's not the best that you have faced, but there's a real possibility that you're the best that he has faced. How crucial is the edge and experience that you have? It's very crucial, and it's very crucial for me to recognise that the first per person that can underestimate the, the strengths in Ricky is the first person that will lose to him, and I'll be taking that attitude into the fight. How do you see it unfolding? I, you know, anything can happen in this fight. I think it's going to be a very tough fight, and I think it could it could go the distance most likely than, than to end early. Um, he's done the work and, and, I, and I know that he's switched on to the point where, whereas if he has to stand and fight, he'll fight. If he has to box, he'll box. He's got the experience. He's shown that he can dig deep. So this is going to be an absolute war. Um, there's been mention of people writing him off. And I, I just think this is no good for me uh, in the sense that uh, and any any hard fight that I have with him is, is going to play me down. So I, I really believe uh, he's a tough fighter. He's done the work and he's, he's coming in full-heartedly with, with everything he's got. And this is, this is a very dangerous fight. We've changed gear. Uh, Michael Katsidis there. Uh, he looks rockish, rock-like, tough boy. Would that be right? Yeah, he's a real hard case. And uh, the thing that scares me with the Ricky Burns is he's not really a lightweight. This fella is a fully fledged lightweight. Some people are saying he's coming down from light welter, but if you look at his career, he's campaigned mostly at lightweight. Only ever been beaten in world title fights against top quality fighters. But he's got that type of style, Richard, that can, you can get old overnight because he takes a lot of shots. And we're hoping tonight he gets old. And you know what, he tries to preserve that and he tries to delay that because it will inevitably happen to him. And that's why he trains out in Thailand. He eats good food. He doesn't have any of the excesses that we have in the West, he keeps pointing out. And also, a, sort of a, a, little, a little fact that's not sort of explored too often is that his sparring partners daily, sometimes 20 of them for a couple of rounds, okay, he hires them for 40 baht in Thai, which is 80p, and they only spar with him to buy their meals, which come to about the same amount of money. So we're taking it to a different level here. And Ricky's got a fairly Spartan existence. He was spying with Dean Burnley. He's been spying with some good fighters. But you can't compete with that. And he has that for two or three months. 
monk-like. Now, I'm telling you, that can prolong your career, Richie. Yeah. Well, and the, and the thing is, with Burns, I think the first couple of rounds here are going to be crucial. Yes. In that he's going to be very, very dangerous early on, Katsidis. So Burns has got to watch what he's doing very early on in the fight. But I do also think that he's got to make Katsidis respect him. And the only way he's going to do that, Richard, he's got to hurt Katsidis, in my opinion, and he's got to hurt him early to get his respect. Otherwise, you're going to see Katsidis just keep coming forward, taking the shots to nail him with those big bombs. And Katsidis can be hurt in that fight with Graham Earl a couple of years yeah. ago. He was caught in the first round. I know he dropped Graham in that round. And in the Casamayor fight against the great Cuban a couple of fights later, he got dropped twice in the first round. Yeah. Katsidis. So, so, so it can happen. Yeah, he travels well. This is a, a great performance from him here against Graham Mill, but he was nip and tuck at one point. He actually took a good shot there. Obviously, he's, he's, he's putting Graham Mill down, Chow and the towel comes in. And then this but comes. before that, he gets hurt. Earl actually catches him. Look at look that first shot. So he is open himself. Big punches always are, Richard. They move into positions where they're trying to land big bombs, but then they leave themselves open. But he finishes guys off well, Steve. Yeah, he does finish guys off, and he's very heavy-handed. And in fact, in that fight, there's an argument for saying if Mickey Van hadn't have stepped in and given Capsi his account, when he didn't touch down, he just dropped down. Yeah. If Ricky, it, it, sorry, if Graham had been out to get to him, there's a chance, only five seconds after the tail came in, that Graham Earl might have been out to finish it. And instead, we came up with the ending we got. That was an all-time great fight. The one the final fact about that fight which is often overlooked is that going into that fight going into that fight it was a 50 50 fight going into this fight the kevin mitchell fight last year at upton park it wasn't a 50 50 fight cat Seedis was a favorite yeah this is another good performance from cat Seedis. he jumped on kevin mitchell here yeah. kevin just wasn't himself this night big crowd behind him but cat Seedis really found the quality work there and i think he was a little bit surprised that kevin didn't take the shots that he threw there. I think yeah. he was expecting Kevin Mitchell to actually come back. You know, but, but Steve, the thing that scares me about Katsidis more than anything, he travels really well. Yes, he does. He's won and lost world titles in Vegas. He's been here. He's yeah. undefeated here. He always so he's very confident coming to England. But Burns that isn't here me. to make the numbers up, is no, he? No, no, no. Quite well, the reverse. Burns. Not at all. Burns likes being the underdog like he was against the unbeaten Puerto Rican Roman Martinez. Ricky Burns and his people, Billy Nelson, even though they acknowledge that you know it's a hard fight on paper and the maybe they're the underdogs. They think they can walk through this fight. And you talk about Cat Seedis travelling, if you actually analyse it, he's been in Las Vegas those few times. He had that mad fight against Juan Diaz in Juan Diaz's yeah. hometown in Houston. And no one in their right mind wants to fight in front of 1,400 no. Texican Mexicans against the Tex Mexican legend. No yeah. one in his right mind. He did it, Cat Seedis. Oh, but, but the, the whole thing here depends on, and Richie's already alluded to it, on whether or not this is perfect matchmaking. Yes. On whether or not Katsidis is right at that tipping point. That's the catch. Ricky Burns can win this fight, Richard, but he's got to get the tactics spot on, and he's got to play it safe those first couple of rounds. At the same time, he's got to try and land a big shot. He really has. He's got the boxing skills. He's a good mover. He's got the heart as well. No, it's not he's a good that. straight puncher. So if he can box at distance against Katsidis, Katsidis oh. and catch him with that good right hand of his, then I think he's got a great chance. But his movement is going to be key. He's got to keep moving against Katsidis. If you stand in front of him, this fella walks through you. Richie, what happens? Five or six rounds, and Katsidis has not walked for him, has not got to him, and Ricky's not damaged. Can Ricky push on in that six to ten round Yes, margin? I think he can, because I think the first half of the fight Steve is going to be the most dangerous for Ricky Burns now Ricky here in full flow putting his man away there that was good but the first five or six rounds and especially the first two or three are going to be crucial and are going to be very dangerous it's the first of two wild title fights tonight a little bit of news about Box Nation before we go here uh, coming up November the 30th um, we're going to be charging for the channel £10 a month which is about the price Bunce will be paying for a pint when he gets back to his hotel tonight. For yeah, more information, yeah. go to www.boxnation.tv. <laughs> Text BOXNATION to 88882. 10 pounds a month when we encrypt from Wednesday, the 30th of November. And if you've been with us since day one, I think you'll agree that is cheap at half the price. OK, here we go. Let's rejoin our MC, Mark Burtis. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Frank Warren, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Bill Ives and everyone at Raymond Steel for your magnificent and continued support. Thank you very much, Bill Ives, Raymond Steel. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the main event of the evening. The WBO Interim Lightweight Championship of the World. Let's have some fireworks. Please welcome into the ring from Toowoomba, Australia, Michael the Warrior. Can see this. He really is every inch a gladiator. He's had some fabulous fights. For me, the question is how much a points defeat against Robert Guerrero in May this year has taken out of him. The question is whether or not he still is able to really unleash that warrior instinct. 31 years old, only four defeats. All of them have come in the United States. He says if he wins this, the world's his oyster. He might be right. He had a shocking year last year. Tragic year. His brother committed suicide. He lost that big fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. Now he says, I'm going to win a title. This is my year. And so we ask ourselves, will our actions echo across the centuries? Will you know what you're going to get with this, man? Long after we're gone. He's a warrior, Enzo. Yeah, he's a true warrior. You know, as you mentioned, his hard year, his brother passing away. Uh, he had a fight against Manuel Marquez coming up. He didn't even break training camp to go visit for the funeral to his brother, who he's so close with. Just shows you more much of a warrior this man is. He comes to fight. And if there was ever a man who wore his heart and his sleeve more than anyone, this is it. Well, he's ready. And he's ready for the arrival of the Scottish hero, Ricky Burns. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring from Cambridge, Scotland, Ricky Burns! Great reception, there's a fair few fans made their way down from Scotland. And Ricky Burns, one of the Scottish sporting success stories of recent years. I don't think you'd have thought when he lost to Alex Arthur in 2005 and when he was beaten by Carl Johansson in 2007 that he'd become WBO champion, but that's what he is. He was the super featherweight champion and now stepping up to lightweight. Is he going to be able to carry that form to the higher weight division? Certainly full of confidence. I spoke to him last night and he's really fancying this. Yeah, he's got a few weeks ago, your call, Bethlehem Green. You know, he, obviously he, uh, he acknowledged the danger that Castillas possesses, but he's very confident. He knew what job they had to do. And listen, you know, when Ricky Burns called Ron Martinez, no one gave him, no one gave him a hope, but no one gave him a little hope. You know, he turned that fight round, he fought brilliantly that night, uh, and he just beat Martinez up. You know, this is a different fighter than Castillas, but, you know, Ricky, Ricky's a very good, very smart fighter, and he's always extremely fit. Michael Castillas is an elite-level fighter. There he is, trying to G himself up as the atmosphere is cranked up here at Wembley Arena. But is he still the fighter he once was? Matchmaking's all about timing. Is the time right for Ricky Burns? Here's Mark Burdis with the big introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wembley Arena here in London for the main event of the evening. Frank Warren, sponsored by Raymond Steele, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the WBO Interim Lightweight Championship of the World, live and exclusive on Box Nation, the new home of boxing. Your officials are appointed by the World Book, uh, Boxing Organization and the British Boxing Board of Control. And your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Terry O'Connor of Birmingham, Mr. John Stewart of the USA, and Mr. Andre Van Goodenbrill of Belgium. Your WBO supervisor is Mr. Dennis Gilmartin of the Rhondda Valley Wales, and your British Boxing Board of Control representative is Mr. Robert Smith of Cowbridge, South Wales. Your tight the bell is Brittany McCann of Reichland. 
And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Phil Edwards of Preston. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner, stands a former WBO World Champion. He brings with him a record of 28 wins from 32 contests, with 23 coming by knockout. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, nine pounds, and tonight he wears the black shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to London, from Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia, the former WBO lightweight champion of the world, Michael, the warrior, Katsides. And across the ring, in the blue corner, with a record of 32 wins from 34 contests, with nine coming by way of knockout. At yesterday's weigh-in, he also scaled nine stone, nine pounds, and tonight he wears the white and blue shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Copeland, Scotland, the former undefeated WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Ricky Burns! Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Of you when I tell you to break, break, clean, you take a step back, watch those heads in close. Remember, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Can see you just trying to intimidate Billy Nelson, Ricky Burns, trainer, says that this is a fighter who should be ranked, around, ranked alongside Ken Buchanan, Jim Watt. Well, now he's into their division, he's into the lightweight division. Is he going to produce a performance to justify those words? 12 rounds for the WBO interim lightweight title and what we do know is that Katsidis is a banger and he'll be dangerous in the early punt in the early stages but a nice crisp right hand from Burns the first scoring shot yeah he's a renowned fast starter Katsidis you know he likes to throw every shot every all power into every shot but Burns has started well he's poking the jab he's trying to find his distance he's trying not for Katsidis trying not to let Katsidis come too close to him which is where Castidis wants to be. Well, Billy Nelson and Ricky Burns know exactly about what Katsidis is likely to throw at them, and what they were thinking is, if we can get through the first three, four rounds, keep this fight long, and then at some stage, possibly around that point of the fight, get into a trade-off and show him that I've got some power as well, that he would be the fitter and stronger man the further the fight goes. Well, we'll see. Yeah, he's just attacking relentlessly at the moment, uh, Castidas. Not a lot, he's landing, Burns is tucking him nice and well. You can see, you can see the power in Castidas' shots, he's, you know, he's putting everything in the other shot. Nice little double jab right down there from Burns, and an uppercut left up. Nice cute little boxing by Burns there. I was interested to see that uh, Graham Earl in that Castidas corner tonight, he was holding the gladiator warrior headdress while the introductions were being made. Well, some talk of there being a rematch between the two of them, but I think Kurt Graham's fighting days now behind him. Well, Katsidis is trying to start fast, but Burns boxing nicely in the early stages. Yeah, he's, he's taking control of that jab. He's, he's stopping Katsidis getting too close, and when, when Katsidis does come in close, he's tucked up nice and, nice and tight and not let nothing come through. He's been getting some good quality sparring as Burns. He's been in with Curtis Woodhouse, Carl Johansson, John Simpson. All of them, I'm sure, trying to really load up on Burns in the manner that Katsidis has already shown that he's ready and prepared to do. He was a big favourite for this one earlier in the week, Katsidis, 5-2 to two on. He was being quoted, well, those odds have closed and, interestingly, significant money has gone on Burns to win this fight by points. That was a 3-1 to one shot earlier in, the, uh, earlier in the week, but I'm told that it was uh, less than 2-1 uh, to one when the fight began. Katsidis looking to set a fast pace in the early stages that Burns has landed some quality punches. Yeah, he's boxing well, Ricky Burns, he's throwing that nice jab, 
You know, he's, he's keeping he's keeping Castillas occupied. As soon as Castillas stands off, he's just popping that jab in his face. And when, like I said, when uh, Castillas gets close, he's on them big bombs. But Burns is nice and comfortable, nice and tight, tucked up well. Nice little left out on the side of the body then from Burns. Good first round there for Ricky Burns. Billy Nelson, a little bit underrated as a trainer, I always think, and he's worked out a very good game plan, I suspect, and you could see there in the early stages, despite the fact that Katsidis was trying to pile on the pressure, quality work from Burns. Yeah, Katsidis threw an awful lot of punches, you know, he dictated the pace, he came at him throwing a lot of punches, but the cleaner shots and the better shots come from Ricky Burns there. Good first round there from Ricky Burns. Burns had that terrific win against Roman Martinez, the Puerto Rican, and got a bit of criticism in some quarters for those defences against Andreas Evanson, Joseph Larrier, and Nicky Cook. That fight stopped in the first round in July when Cook sustained an injury and had to uh, retire. And this is uh, really back into Premier League level. Nice chopping right hand from Burns, doing everything right so far. Started off a nice couple of jabs as well, have got through, hit the mark straight away in Castillas. Katsidis will try to show that he's physically the stronger man. He's not landed anything too flush so far. Trying to unload and really put power into those punches, trying to work the body, but Burns doing a pretty good job of smothering his work. Yeah, he's boxing well, he's using that jab. Oh, nice right hand, they think that hurt Katsidis a little bit. And so right down on the inside then from Ricky Burns. Katsidis had one easy three-round victory back in Australia after that really torrid defeat against Robert Guerrero that I was telling you about in May this year. It was a rebuilding moment for him, and of course he's been talking the talk over here, and people remember him for that blow away of Kevin Mitchell and the terrific fight against Graham Earl, but is it the same Michael Katsidis? I well, guess Robert Guerrero, he took a beat in that night. It was, Guerrero was exceptional that night. You know, he's got to see what... Uh, what demons Castillas got, you know, maybe he thought he was going to come in and blow Burns away. But Burns have shown in the past he's a, he's a strong-willed fighter, he, he's a good boxer, and he's got a good game plan at the moment for Castillas. At times, even pushing Castillas back. One thing you can say about Castillas, at any stage of any fight, he will remain dangerous. And that fight against Joel Casamayor in 2008, when he was stopped in 10. Yeah, he was down twice in the first round, but he had Casamayor down in the sixth. Against Marquez, lost the fight in the ninth round, but he had Marquez down in the third. He is a really concussive puncher. Castillas is a dangerous man. As long as he's on his feet, he's dangerous. And that's what Ricky Burns has got to be so smart here tonight. Use that jab and make no mistakes. There's one mistake against this man, Castillas, you know, the fight could be over. Boxing confidently, though, and uh, measuring his punches, accuracy from Burns. So much more confidence and authority about his work than earlier in his career. It should be pointed out that I think it was in only his 10th fight, Burns did beat Graham Earl. It's better from Katsidis, good body shots, getting in close, trying to work him on the ropes there. Another good right hand to the body. And Katsidis is trying to soften Burns up. Feet, let him feel his power. Lovely boxing again from Ricky Burns. Castillas had his moments in that round, but I think Burns took with that jab. Throw some lovely that. shots. Caught him some nice clipping, uh, short right hands. So you, you that A very good round from Ricky Burns. But it's doing it at the right time, okay? See inside there, he's a wee bit lazy, okay? So hit him with the right hook, okay? That's very good. Hey, look at me, look at me. Excellent, okay? Two rounds good. in the bag now. Get him a good drink. Two rounds in the bag, I wouldn't argue with that. Yeah, he boxed very well, Ricky Burns. He used that jab well, he kept Castillas at a distance. 
uh, and tucked them nice and tight. We can see this actually found his way in. You know, he tucked them nice and tight, took most of the shots. Uh, and when you watch Ricky Burns, when Castillas unloading, you know, you can see he's bracing for them shots coming in. Well, scar damage around the eyes of Katsidis from earlier fights and the left eye as early as this stage of the fight with only two rounds completed Katsidis's left eye just starting to mark up a little bit as we move into the third round Katsidis will try and turn it into his fights There's just signs at the end of that second round that he was starting to get into range and starting to work away to the body good uppercut inside from Burns Again with the uppercut from Ricky Burns. Lovely little shots. And the type of shot that would work against Castidas. Not a lot of sweet science about Katsidis, but he just keeps on coming. And he will keep doing that right up to the moment that he's forced to accept defeat, if that's to be the script. The bookmakers didn't say it would be that way, and a lot of pundits didn't say it that way. They've made him a big favourite, but Burns is boxing calmly and in a very, very composed manner. body shots from Katsidis but then a sweet uppercut from Burns following with the left hook yeah Burns timed that uppercut there and he waited for Katsidis so that body shot lovely right uppercut left hook from Burns quality shots you can see Ricky Burns on the ropes there he's bracing for these shots he's waiting for these big shots to come in Already this fight is starting to warm up and it has the makings of something special It was interesting talking to various people about around ringside beforehand and everybody had their own view as to what the ultimate outcome would be but the big Thing which people were saying was it was Katsini's danger in the early stages Almost an acceptance that he'd win the early rounds, but it's not worked out that way. Not yet. Now oh, Ricky Burns caught him some lovely shots this round and you know he's targeting the body a lot which you know will slow Castidas down in the long run. But like you said John, Castidas will keep firing and he'll keep punching until he's no longer capable of doing it. Right hand from Burns as he moved out to that exchange, a lovely straight left, rocking back the head of Katsidis. Scotsman is boxing beautifully at the moment. speaking uh, to the well-known boxing correspondent from north of the border Jim Black this morning and he was saying that still sometimes thinks that Burns doesn't quite get the respect that he deserves amongst the Scottish sporting fraternity well if he pulls this one off tonight he'll certainly begin to get that Katsidis is keeping coming forward, but he's doing so in straight lines, having to absorb a lot to our land punches of his own. How did he score the third, Enzo? I, I give another one to Ricky Burns. You know, he caught some lovely shots coming in. Uh, the best shot I've seen him throw is that left up to the body. You know, that, that's the shot that I, I've seen that have reaction off uh, Kastidis. A sweet little left up on the back of the elbow. One of my favourite shots, John, and it's working so well against Kastidis. Katsidis trying to work away to the body with hooks in that exchange. There's that left hand you were talking about, great shot. Yeah, he's pulling around the back of the elbow. You know, that's the only shot that had a reaction on Katsidis. He can be as tough as he went to the head, those body shots take their toll. Damage around the face, as we said. Oh, something like that's not going to bother a man like Katsidis. He's a tough man. He's come here to fight. Yes, to the Until team, that last right. bell sounds, he will be dangerous and he will keep firing. Brendan Smith is the trainer. I wonder whether he thinks that his man's three rounds down as well. That's the way Anzo Macradelli's got it at this stage as we move into the fourth. Ricky Burns, his first big fight as a lightweight, and he says that those extra pounds have made him feel so much more comfortable, yeah, made him more cheerful, I tell you that. Yeah, he used to starve himself to make that weight. And obviously you could feel the difference on fight night. Um, he's, he's, I just can't believe he's boxing so well. He, he's dictating this fight. He's making uh, a Castidas, a warrior like Castidas, go backwards. All from that jab. 
Oh, nice right down for Castillas, but Ricky Burns took it well. And here he goes again, sets back on that jab, keeps Castillas occupied. Every time Castillas sets himself to throw a punch, he feels some a bit of leather in his face. Ricky Burns has only stopped nine of his 32 victories, or his 32 victims, I should say. Katsidis coming forward, that marauding style, aiming to really load up on these shots. Burns has to keep tight guard here. Buzz around the famous old Wembley Arena. This has been a much talked about fight. A body shot. Lovely body shot again. Right that cut, draw his arms up, then left up run the back in the run the back in the elbow. Right in the rib cage. Cracking shot. One of these shots from Katsidis where he was uh, really loading up in the early stages. Now he's just looking to touch and to put Burns out of his stride and maybe try to give the opportunity to get through the tight defence and land something worthwhile. He's not put Burns in any real trouble so far. No, Burns has been brave. Every time he's on the ropes, he's nice and tight. He's bracing himself, he's keeping his chin down, his hands tucked together. Like here, like there, and then used good footwork. He's always had good mobility, Burns. There's still a long way to go on this fight, but so far, Ricky Burns is boxing exceptional. See this always so brave, and that bravery one suspects is going to be tested again. Now, can't see this onto the front foot, trying to bully Burns backwards, trying to show that physically he's the stronger man. A couple of those shots seem to be straying low, although that protective guard of Burns looks as though it's pulled up very high. No surprise when you're in against a body punch. Yeah, so but the, the best body punches so far has come from Ricky Burns. You know, Castillas haven't really caught him clean. Burns has caught him a few times, which have drawn a reaction again. You know, just a little dip in the leg, dip in the knees, good body shots, and right hand over the top. Lovely boxing by Ricky Burns. Good boxing by Burns, right hand from Katsidis after the bell, looked as though it was low, and Burns looked aside to Phil Edwards. Good bit of hand, Burns. Score the fourth, Enzo. And another one with Ricky Burns. You know, Castillas is throwing a lot of punches. He's making Ricky Burns work. But the cleaner shots come from Burns. Burns has hardly taken any shots so far. You know, he's, he's defensively very sound. Again, he's, he's pushing, he's pushing Castillas back. It's all coming from that long jab he's got. Certainly not looking like an outsider at the moment. Ricky Burns starting to boss this fight in the fifth round if the judges are seeing it the same way as we have. Katsidis has been on the front foot as ever for much of the fight, but just look at the two faces of the fighters in there. Katsidis marked up, Burns absolutely unblemished so far. And the power puncher has so far, for us, been outpunched. Big effort from Katsidis, crowd responds, but it was taken on the gloves by Burns and a smile from the Scotsman as he backed away. Yeah, he cut, cut them shots, got through there, nothing, nothing too cleanly but he did get through. You know, Ricky Burns knows Katsidis is a big puncher, you know, he knows not to get caught solidly on the chin or the body, and he's just boxing well, just using that jab, you know, he's, he's controlling everything at the moment. Fifth round, it's a 12-rounder, the WBO interim title at stake. And 
Manuel Marquez with his uh, mind on uh, other things. A little uh, dust up in the desert with uh, Manny Pacquiao coming up. It's better from Katsidis. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pushing, he's, work, he's out working Good up a this round. Katsidis trying to make this his fight, and he's dug deep in this fifth round. He's been told to work away to the body, try and get the guard down. Yeah, he's going to have to. Ricky Burns has shown such a good uh, defence tonight. He's on, every time he's on a ropes, he's tucking him elbows in, he's tucking his chin down. You know, uh, Kostidis isn't getting through with a whole lot of punches. But he's, he's having a bit more success this round. Not a whole lot, but he's having a little bit more. Good body punch there with Ricky Burns. Hasn't he improved in the way he delivers those shots? Yeah, brilliant. He's starting to turn that left hand, coming, coming in underneath the ribcage. Katsidis just keeps on coming, that warrior face, right in front of Burns always, that's a bit of a wild one from Burns. May have been Katsidis' best round this. That's good, hurtful body shots from Katsidis. Yeah, nice variety of punches there, again not everything got through cleanly but you know, they did get through. Well, this is by a distance. For me, that's been Katsidis' best round. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, pushed Ricky Burns back. He, he, he made the fight take place where he wanted it to take place. He threw a nice variety of punches, body and head. So you give that one to the Australian? Yeah, I definitely give that one to Katsidis. OK, give me two more deep breaths. That's how Enzo Macronelli, former world champion himself, reads this one. 49 to 46, Katsidis. And everybody, but everybody, said it was going to be Katsidis in the early stages. Let's see how the boys right? have got yeah, it up in the studio. Did. Richie Woodall and Steve Bunce. Uh, I can tell you who's got it up here. Uh, Richie Woodall has got um, has got uh, Ricky Burns in front. I think three, three two, three two, and Bunce's got his uh, Burns by one. A bit tighter up there, chaps, than we have down there. Thanks, Richard. Got it by one in uh, just one round in the uh, presentation position down here at ringside. We've got it by four rounds to one to Ricky Burns, but Katsidis certainly came on strong in that last round. Yeah, beautiful boxing there from Ricky Burns, controlling everything with his jab, controlling his distance with the jab. Can't see this right in front of Burns again, trying to take the mobility out of those slender legs. Look how much taller Burns is than Katsidis. Stands five foot ten, very tall indeed for a super featherweight, uh, which is what he was. Now fighting at lightweight, Katsidis five eleven, uh, five seven, three inches, the shorter man. Well, Burns is the one on the front foot trying to bully Katsidis himself. A complaint to referee Phil Edwards about uh, work around the back of the head. Every, every time there's a break in the action, Burns just goes straight back to that jab. Uh, I think it's causing Castillo's a bit of problems. Every time he sets himself, he feels something, he's got to reset himself again. You know, very, very smart boxing there from Ricky Burns. Can't see this work rate has dropped a bit from the last round, and so I think he put a big effort in in the fifth, and he's not quite been able to sustain it here in this sixth, at least not so far. No, Ricky, Ricky Burns is controlling the fight so far on his jab. Katsidis is having a breather. Might try the old pros act of trying to pile on the pressure in the last 30 seconds to try and catch the judge's eyes. Two good body shots. That's up, that right hand did get through. Burns takes it well, though, but he doesn't want to be a static target. Good shot there from Ricky Burns. Nice little right hand. 
So, last 30 seconds. Sometimes the key ones in trying to impress the judge. Who's going to look the stronger? Three shots. None of them got through from the way we looked at it from our position. That did. And, and that again, did. Lovely body shot there, Ricky Burns. And then got back to the jab again. Last few seconds of the round. Halfway stage of the fight. It's rounds like that which are so important in determining the outcome of the contest. Closer rounds, and who do you give that one to quickly? Ricky Burns on the jab. You know, he landed the cleaner shots, he landed good jabs. You down for one, one side or into the other. You have to do something to put him out of stride, okay? How's your That's eye? your round again. You've no lost a round here yet. Okay? Keep your eye closed. Okay, excellent work. They're happy with it. They're saying that he's won every round, not lost a round yet. I'm not quite sure I'd go along with that. I certainly think he lost the fifth. Yeah, he's the only one he's lost on my card, on my eyes. You know, he's bossing the fight on that jab. Every time Casillas looks to throw a big shot, you know, he feels that jab of Ricky Burns in his face. You know, he's just, he just showing how good a boxer he is. And Corners, 10 seconds. Casillas is struggling to cope with that jab. Still totally unmarked. Seconds out, round seven. Remember, though, the one thing that we always have to stress, and you always have to remember with Katsidis, he's always dangerous no matter how far a fight goes, although it has to be said that most of his spectacular victories have come early. He doesn't have a reputation of being strong in the latter stages of a contest, and Burns, we know, certainly has the engine to go the 12 rounds. Yeah, he's always a supremely fit fighter. Uh, he always works hard. No, he, he showed against Martinez. Everyone no one gave him a hope that night against Martinez, and he proved everyone wrong, and he's doing that again tonight. Well, the performance he produced against Martinez, it almost made the hair stand up on the back of your neck. Nice uppercut as he worked his way away off the ropes. Everybody wrote him off before the fight against Martinez, thinking he was just going to be bowled over, blitzed away, and Ricky Burns simply did not look at the script. He's having right. to go back to have the binding fixed on that left glove, but he, he rose the level then, and since then he's had that self-belief. Yeah, you know, he, he became a champion, and he had the champion's mentality then, and he's had that ever since. He's just, he just come on, he's improved every time he's fought. He's been 12 rounds on six occasions, one on four of those, and it might well be that if Burns is going to prevail against Katsidis, he might have to go the full distance again. The Australian had the big round in the fifth. He's not been able to quite get through. There's nothing in those punches, just pitter pats to the body. A nice uppercut on the inside there from Ricky Burns. But Castillas is still in this fight. You know, he's still trying. He's thrown a lot of punches, he's thrown a lot of leather, but he just doesn't seem to be able to get through Burns' guard. But are the judges seeing it the same way? Yeah, he's shown so a lot the... of aggression, he's shown a lot of punches, he's thrown a lot of punches. Two good, good hooks, and there goes Burns with one of his own. It's starting to become a real man's fight, this one. It's becoming a tough man's fight. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a battle of attrition now. He's, ma he's making Burns fight now, he's making Burns work. He's not letting him step off on that jab, he's not letting him have any space. You know, this is, this is a tactic Castidis needs to employ. I can't see this certainly still strong still full of fight trying to carry it to ricky burns a couple of cynical or maybe hopeful whispers suggesting that katsidis might have been coming over here shot well it's certainly not that no i, I can't imagine i can't imagine katsidis coming over here to lay down for anyone you no know, you come over here he wants this title he wants to go on the bigger and better things and he can see the way he's trying to fight now nice tight defense from burns all those punches being taken on gloves in fact, both sides here. That's better from Katsidis. Here's a big attack from the Australian. Burns not firing too much back. That was a good sustained burst from Katsidis. Good left out of the body. Good left out of the end as well for Ricky Burns. Oh, a nice right down from Katsidis. That's around this for Katsidis. Yeah, Devney, he, he picked the pace of this run. Big effort again from the Australian. Had to dig deep. Did he do enough to take it? Yeah, he did. He, you know, he dictated. Ricky Burns had a good minute of the round, and then Castidis took over the last two. 
You know, it's, it's, it's what he needs to do, Castillas. He's uh, come forward and throw punches and not let Ricky Burns have any space. Pay money to watch this fight and watch this man anytime. Michael Katsidis always gives it absolutely 100%, win or lose. And this was a huge effort for him from him in the seventh round. And it's punches like that which probably edged it. Yeah, Michael Castidis gives up on all when he's coming forward. I think he knows he's behind in the fight. You know, he tried to, he tried to push the pace that round. And he, together, and he took the, the round. He all the punches, body and head. And just cut Ricky Burns' his face off. He didn't let him get that jab off, which has been so good for him. The first time, Billy Nelson looking a slightly more worried figure. As we move now into the eighth round, we've got Burns ahead on points, but Katsidis, big effort in the last round, and Burns needs to stamp his authority on this once again. Using his mobility, better footwork from Burns than Katsidis, who's trying to cut him down, trying to get him into range and unload. He will not take a backward step. Shots being taken on arms and gloves, but some of them are getting through. Again, tape coming unloose, uh, coming unloosened. This time on the right glove of Burns. Dean Powell working away in that corner. Can't see this will be a, a bit more happy than he would have been in the early stages. Yeah, he's, he's coming at him now, he's putting pressure on Burns. You know, I think he's realised Burns' plan is that jab. He's trying, good shot there for Castidis, but Ricky Burns pulling his head back. Solid left hand from Katsidis, who's piling on the pressure here in the eighth round. Another big effort from the Australian. He's an all-action fighter and a real crowd-pleaser, and he's trying to put the pressure on Burns. One thing Every, got into everybody, but everybody thought that it was going to be Katsidis doing this in the early stages, but it's not been. It's in a way, it's been quite the reverse of what people thought it would be. And oh, a good body shot. And there has seen Castidis in a boring fight. He comes to fight. As you see by here, you know, he knows he's behind. He knows he's behind in the fight. He just picked the pace up. And he's just been relentless. The last two rounds, he's been relentless in Ricky Burns. Good little lap look at the inside, Ricky Burns. He is one very, very fit and determined man. The crowd responding to that lovely right hand from Burns. But the volume is coming from Katsidis. Really tapping into the energy levels here. Burns trying to keep him off but just a little bit too ready to lean back onto the ropes in that static position, inviting Katsidis to unload. Yeah, maybe he's feeling the pace a little bit, Ricky Burns, you know, he's, he's up against a, a big, a big lightweight player in Katsidis and thrown a lot of punches. He's made him work at a very fast pace. And those, those shots he's been hitting him with, even when they're hitting on the arms, they've taken something out of him, especially the way Katsidis throws them. Burns is back into the elite level here. And this is what you've got to survive against, against a man who will not treat defeat as an option. Good body shot from Burns. You heard that one thwack home underneath the elbow. Castidis had to really work hard in that round. Did he do enough to take it? Yeah, give out on Castidis. He, out, he outworked Ricky Burns that round. He won, won a lot of clean punches coming off him, but just for pure work rate and aggression. You know, he's biting down his gums here, he's gritting his teeth. Five rounds to three, you've got it to Ricky Burns, Enzo. Yeah, Castidis is coming back in this fight now. He's, he's cutting that space off of Ricky Burns' had. So uh, he got himself so well in the first three rounds and using that jab uh, because he just wants this fight. Let's go. Go on, good rounds. Come here. 
You know, you see in the corner now, there's a definite mood in that corner where they're all happy. There's definitely a change in mood in that corner. Well, they know, don't they? Let's go. Four good rounds. Here's Katsidis. when you come away, son. You're over the Corner's 10 seconds. a lot more instructions I can do out there by you, bruh. And you need to just keep it on him, mate. You need to go. Six out for round nine. Katsidis is edging his way back into this in the ninth round key phase Burns gets a big round now it might just turn the tide good jabbing good boxing Rick from Burns he was not jab well again huge effort from Katsidis in the last nice two right rounds down. nice right up the cup from Burns Perhaps he's just having to pace himself a little bit now, the Australian. Not a lot from Katsidis in the first minute. No, good boxing from Burns, just controlling on that jab. Stop Katsidis coming in. Which is what he needs to do, but as soon as Castidis gets in, he throws a lot of punches. Katsidis able to parry those shots thrown from range, though, from Burns. Now we're into Katsidis' territory. Maybe the Australians turn to apply the pressure, but Burns tying him up well inside. Good body shot there, Burns. Yeah, it was a quality shot from Burns, best punch of the round, the left hook to the body. Katsidis hasn't been able to land too much clean so far. That was a pitter-pat sort of punch as he gets inside, trying to work himself into position where he can really unload. Nice counter from Burns, lovely right hand. Good right up the cut. Two hooks from Katsidis did thud their way into the ribcage of Burns, who's worked hard, of course, at his stamina and his fitness, perhaps in the expectation this could be a long fight. Body shot again from Burns. This is tough, gruelling stuff, Enzo. This is a tough man's fight, though. Well, Ricky Burns is a better boxer in the first few rounds. You know, he's been drawn into the fight. Ricky Burns about to fight now, because those jabs aren't keeping Katsidis off anymore. Well, Burns has fought well thus far in this ninth round. It's been Burns' round so far, but is Katsidis going to be able to mount a big attack in the closing stages? Lovely uppercut, though, from Burns, and then the left hook. Those shots again from Katsidis, largely being taken on arms by Burns. There's a tired and a little bit more of a laboured look about the work of the Australian. It's better though, two left hands. He's trying to produce the grandstand finish, but a little bit too little, too late. Good round this has been for Ricky Burns, and that might have stemmed the time. Definitely, well, Ricky Burns boxed very well, Aaron. He started off the first minute on a jab, Castidis got close, and he, wor he worked with Castidis then. He outpunched Castidis, he outworked him. Look at me. Very good round from Ricky Burns. Focus. Hit your eyes shut. This guy can't have beat you now. You can only lose this fight. Have a drink, Billy. Okay. We agree with that one. We've got Burns ahead now on Enzo's card by six to three. His fight to lose. Yeah, David, he boxed well that round. He boxed really well. He used that jab. He dictated most of the fight. And like I said, when Castillas did get close, he worked with him and he outworked him, found himself some space, and then went back in the jab again. Put, put it into action, we man. Put it into action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw your breathing in there. That's that had to, to really, really, really work right. hard so in that seventh and eighth round. Like it took it out of him. He's got to win the last three the way we see it. And you can bet everything you've got that he'll try. Oh, yeah, he will keep coming. He's a sort of a throwback fighter, Michael Katsidis. You could have seen him going out onto the marshes in Victorian times and fighting bare-knuckle stuff. He is one hard, hard man. Still trying to force the pace. Burns working away nicely, using the ropes.
Again, Katsid is just touching him, trying to work the opening, and at the moment it just won't come for him. Not too much hurtful leather thrown by either man so far in this round. No, just Castillo's just out working Burns at the moment. Oh, that's better. Left back there, Good left hand from Katsidis. Senses may be that he's got an opportunity here. Another big attempt, a big attempt to raise his game from Katsidis. Been there, seen it, done it. Former WBO champion. He's on the front foot, working away, catching the eye, and there's another left hook into the head of Burns. Good shot from Katsidis. Just a slightly more anxious look from the corner of Ricky Burns. Again, the binding on the left glove of Burns is working loose, got through with a good uppercut, but back comes Katsidis. What a hard fight. Castidis just turned this into a brawl now, and Ricky Burns about to, about to stand and trade with Castidis. Not, not the best thing he could do, but that's all he can do at the moment. Uh, those jabs aren't keeping him off anymore. Nice body shot there. Referee hasn't spotted the loose binding. As we can see clearly from that left wrist of Burns, Katsidis has been the one forcing the pace in this round, even if he's not landed too much quality has got through with a couple of left hooks yeah he's uh, he's, he's he got close to burns this round he's outworked burns we've seen burns do a couple of jabs at him in the, in the first four rounds those jabs would have put him off balance and settled him he's just walked straight through him what a huge effort from michael katsidis on sheer desire he might be prevailing in this 10th round Phil Edwards now does notice the binding, which uh, came loose about a minute ago. Yeah, just pure work rate this round, because is, you know, again this round for me, just on pure work rate. He's thrown a lot of punches. Not everything's landing, but he's, he's thrown a lot. He's, he's forcing the fight. Good round for Katsidis. Yeah, he won, won much in it, John, but, you know, Kostidis just pull, just got it for me, just on that pure work rate. You've got it 6 4 now, have you? If you give that one to Katsidis. Oh, yeah, he's coming back in. It's, it's been a hard, grueling fight. There you go, mate. No, Ricky, Ricky, Burns, Ricky Burns is a boxer. You know, the one the one thing people do is train him probably yeah. want him to do is stand toe to toe with Katsidis. But that's what to do. You know, the pace is fight, the pace of set in Ricky Burns. It's been a tough pace. It's been a relentless pace of Michael Katsidis. The like, 11th round coming up. And like I said, those first four rounds, he was snapping that jab because he was his face. He was unsettling him. Like, he's going to keep coming at you now, mate. You've got to hold your shape, mate, OK? It's very it, important. He's got to come to you. He's got to come to you, so you need to keep that spin. They know so he's going to keep coming. But to be honest, I've said this before, Dean, Dean Powell's a good man to have in the corner in times like this. He won't let him feel sorry for himself. he try and get him to buck up and push you on. Burns needs two good rounds. Katsidis likewise. This fight could still be in the balance. Katsidis just marauding forward now. He knows what he has to do. And he will give everything he's got trying to do it. No science about it. It's work rate. This keeps coming, keeps trying to force the fight. Be the man who's seen to be the aggressor. Good shot. Shot. Burns so much more effective when Katsidis allows him to fight at range. Keep your shape was what Dean Powell said to him. He's been able to do that for the first minute and he's done it successfully. That's not allowed. Inside of the wrist into the face of Katsidis and the ticking off from the referee. Now we're into Katsidis territory again. Yeah, Katsidis got it when he wants him, you know, that's what he wants Ricky Burns to be. 
Burns trying to move, move away. You can't see this right in his face. Didn't land too much, though, effective in that exchange, I didn't think. No, he just threw a lot of punches. Good little counter there by Burns. Caught Casidas coming in. It's Quality a... body shot from Burns again. Yeah, it's been a good round so far for Burns. Casidas has kept coming, but he's not landed too much clean. No, Burns has just caught him coming in. He's, he's, he's hit him with three or four shots every time he's come in. Like we, see, like we said, Casidas will just keep coming. Damage to the left eye of Katsidis is worsening. Pitter pat hooks didn't really tee off on those. Good straight left from Burns as and he a, moved on to reverse gear. And a right hand then as well with a count. Nice right hand counter. This has been good from Burns. Boxed beautifully in this 11th round. Yeah, he's definitely boxed. Definitely winning this round. Use that jab again, and every time Castillas come close, he caught him with two or three shots every single time. It looks as though it is going to go to the anxious wait for the judges' scorecards. But Burns is helping his case significantly here in the 11th. It looks as though a good right, right hand, lovely shot. Lovely boxing by Burns. Try and hear from both corners between rounds. And let's see if we can gauge how they both feel as they go back with Enzo indicating that he feels that Burns has won that round. Very good round from Burns. That's the main, that's the main. That's the main. All we need is three minutes. Alec, 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 give me a drink. Let me do my job. Give me a drink. Give me a drink. That's round, right, Ricky. Just gloves, well done. What? It's concentration. Big deep breath. Come on. Well, that's how Enzo's got it. That 11th round, so important. The way he was seeing it, it could have been a draw if it hadn't been that way. Let's see how Richie and Bunsey have got it. Chendon, where are you? I got Burns by two. I think he's been superb with his jab and his movement. Very impressive him tonight. Bunsey, I've got him by three. I've got it 7-4, exactly the same as Enzo. But that round goes the other way, and suddenly 7-4 is 6-5, and that's a different fight. Excellent fight it's been. The two fighters know it. Look at that, lovely. Show of respect between the two of them. This could be some three minutes. Yeah, because he's just going to punch till he can't punch no more. Good work by Burns. Making a fast start to this final round. Katsidis might have been told by his corner, go out there and finish this guy. He needs one punch from the Arsenal that we've seen him produce over the years. And he, look at him go now. Here he comes, he'll just keep firing. Timeout given, and the punches around the back of the head from Katsidis. He won't mind, there'll be everything. The kitchen sink's going in here. Oh, you, you throw everywhere. You don't care where he's hitting at the moment. He's just going to throw punches. Work rate from Katsidis. Burns tries to cover up and bully him backwards. Again, for the second time this round, Katsidis told off by the referee. He gets a point deducted. I think that could be good night, Vienna. Burns trying to use his speed. That's good from Katsidis. Three shots to the body, all got through. Again, another one round the back of the head. Now watch the rep. Well, he's on dangerous ground. Katsidis gets away with it. Into the last 90 seconds. Katsidis fighting on willpower and desire, needing, he knows, this last round, and he's winning it on work rate at the moment. Yeah, he's just, he's just throwing everything he can, and Ricky Burns doesn't care where it lands. You know, he's just, he's just throwing punches anywhere, anywhere he sees a target. It has been a stirring, red-blooded contest, and it's going right down to the wire. That binding has come right over now. I'm surprised the ref hasn't spotted that yet. 
Two of them trading, going toe to toe in the closing stages. Good shots from Burns. Katsin is flying forward. The referee really should be stopping things to get that binding away. And he is doing. Not before time. Got about a yard of it to get away. Last 30 seconds then. Who's it to be? Katsin is caught on the way in by that right hand. Good straight left from Burns, quality shot. Katsin is oh, gambling, nice right picked hand. off again by a right hand counter, and again. And there's the bell. Punch has been thrown after the bell from Katsidis. Not heard in the cacophony at ringside. Burns is chaired aloft, and he believes that he has won it. I go along with that. And Enzo, I think that is a win for Scotland. Yeah, fantastic, Ricky Burns. No, I know we, I know we say this often, but. Ricky Burns is one of the nicest boxers in the game, in the game. No, well deserved, absolutely brilliant, the guys. That's of course John if the judges have seen it that way. Body language speaks volumes though. Katsidis went back to his corner and he looked tired and a little bit disconsolate. He feels, I think, that he's lost that fight. And Ricky Burns is looking as though he's speaking with the language of a winner. Frank Warren coming across in front of us and just uh, looking at us as much as to say, oh, that was a close one, I wonder which way it's gone. Well, we can say that we think that Burns has won it. Yeah, he boxed brilliant at times, that jab. He keeps someone like Castidis away for the first four rounds of that jab. Absolutely brilliant. But again, Castidis shows what a true warrior he is. He kept coming till the final bell. What a tough fight. What a tough, tough fight. But a proud night for Ricky Burns. I thought he boxed superbly. The early stages, he took the game away from Katsidis just when we thought that Katsidis was going to be at his strongest. The Australian dug deep. He rallied in the second half of the fight. But Ricky Burns, well, if Scotland hasn't really woken up to him, they certainly should do because that was a man's performance and a champion's performance. That's a champion's performance against one of the, the toughest men in the division and the hardest men in the division. Uh, fantastic for Ricky Burns, absolutely brilliant. Hats off to Castidis, you know, he made this fight. And like you said, we've got to wait and see what the judges, judges have said, but right. you know, for me, Ricky Burns has got that fight. Righto, let's see if the judges score it the same way we do. Is this a big, big moment in the career of Ricky Burns, or has Katsidis got enough and done enough to have taken the nod from the judges? Here's Mark Burnis. Ladies and gentlemen, we said there would be fireworks. These two boxers did not disappoint. A round of applause, a magnificent contest. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecard, and we have a unanimous decision. Judge Terry O'Connor, 117-112. Judge John Stewart, 117-111. Andre Van Gutenbrul, 117-111. The winner, in the blue corner, from Cambridge, Scotland, Ricky Burns. Katsidis sportingly acknowledges the performance of a true champion, and Ricky Burns tonight was superb. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for a warrior, Michael Katsidis. Well, I think Katsidis knew, didn't he, right at the end there. Burns has done a terrific job, hasn't he, Bunsey? Yeah, listen, Burns a fantastic job, and the boys are right in the commentary pit. It was the first four rounds, he took the, he took that away from Katsidis. That's when he's at his most dangerous, and he out-jabbed him. He went in and well, I had it 3 1 after 4. That's when it all happened. Yeah, good performance yeah. from Ricky Burns. I think the key to his success was his jab, his movement, 
and he maintained that throughout the contest. He kept a very strong man at bay. I thought he was exceptional tonight, but a simple left jab has yeah. won him that fight for me. And Richie kept screaming, get off the ropes, because yeah. there were certain judges that would have yeah. scored all of those rounds where Ricky spent most of the round with his back against the ropes. They would have scored them yeah. for, for Katsidis. But, you know, the bottom yeah. line was he wasn't scoring that many shots. Look at on TV, and the scores are right. I, had, I, I didn't have it that well at the end. I had it three at the end. But you know what? Definitely a Burns victory. Yeah, when Burns boxed in the centre of the ring, you know, you could see Cassidis coming. They just stuck out that long jab and boxed at distance, then yeah. moved around him. I thought his movement and his jab were exceptional. When he got onto the ropes, OK, there was a lot of work coming from Cassidis, but the guard was good. A lot was hitting the elbows, a lot was hitting the arms. Mm. I'll tell you what, he's come of age tonight. Well, Cassidis have just seen Wanda pass behind you, so he doesn't want to talk, obviously, but Ricky Burns does. Ricky Burns, you are the new interim WBO lightweight champion of the world. You're shaking your head in disbelief, but just tell us the thoughts and feelings you're experiencing right now. You know, I just can't believe it, honestly. I've always said everybody doubted me getting into that fight. Everybody had kids, uh, Michael walking all over me. Said to Michael at the end, I've got the utmost respect for him there. For the first round, my job was killing me there, so it was. But again, I've always said when I know I'm up against it, that's when I'm going to be at my best. And I think I've proved a lot of people wrong. I'd just like to say thanks to my team, obviously my training kit, my trainer, John, uh, Danny Nelson here, uh, obviously my, my manager, Alec Morrison, and the man that made this fight happen, Frank Warren. You know, again, they, they believed in me all the time. I've always said, the better I am, the better who's in front of me, the better I'm going to be, and just over the moon. You said you proved a lot of people wrong, but you proved yourself and your trainer, Billy, and your team right. Where does that immense self-belief that you possess, where did it come from? Do you know, I, honest, when I keep telling people I treat boxing as my job, that is the way I look at it. When I say I would fight, I've, honestly, I would box MD at all. Um, I'm not, I've always said I'm not fear to getting beat either. Um, and I think that's like, the right attitude they have. No matter who I fight, I will go in and I'll get 110%. And do you know, I, Billy knows um, I give my life and soul to boxing. And it just shows you, like, if, if you do put a gear at a friend, it does pay off in the end. You box superbly. You showed your full repertoire. Sometimes you were centering, sometimes you lay on the ropes. Beautiful body shots, beautiful straights. What was the most important attribute of your repertoire in getting that victory tonight? Um, I'd say the, the boxing, especially my jab was the key in that fight. Although it was hard, some of the rounds obviously try to keep him off because he was just rushing in so much. But again, I showed at, at times in there, I did have to stand my ground and you know, Michael could see this, he can bang, you can see how obviously he's gave everybody a lot of trouble. He was giving me trouble there and all, but again, I'm good at hiding that I don't show up when I've been hurting and I just grit the teeth and I just keep going and going and going. We'll come to Billy in a moment, but you walked to the ring and you were beaming from here to here. You gave us a wink here at ringside. You really seemed to enjoy the occasion. After that torrid fight, now you've got the victory. How much did you enjoy it? You know, I, I always say the preparation and obviously the diet inside it, that's the worst bit. When you get the way in over, that's when you can concentrate on, obviously, on the fight. And to me, that's the best part of it. I love boxing, and it's all I've ever wanted to do. Well, you've done fantastically tonight. Let's speak to the man who devised the strategy, Billy Nelson. How proud are you of your charge tonight? Well, I'm over the moon with him. I'm absolutely delighted. I'm delighted for Scottish boxing as well. So what's next for your boy? He's come through in this interim world title fight. The world is oyster at the moment, because Cat Stiedis, the four lost in his record, only come to world-class fighters. What does that say about Ricky Burns and where he stands? Well, I have, I have said for quite a wee while now, he's world class. There's no doubt that he's world class. Uh, he, he beat Martinez, who was the number one super featherweight. He's beat Michael Casitas, who is a machine, fantastic fighter. And he's beat them. No more, no more to be said. I just, I'm over the moon that he's, we've all proved the doubters wrong again. Well, you've done yourselves proud, done Scottish boxing proud. Very well done indeed, guys world class would you agree yeah I would indeed and I think a lot of credit has to go to Billy Nelson I thought because the way he started off he started off very quick and my worry then was could he maintain it throughout the contest he did his conditioning was perfect I think that goes down to Billy Nelson so a great all-round performance from both of them George Groves and Paul Smith are on the way sorry Bunce you must just uh, because otherwise it's gonna be very very late here must hear from both boys first of all Smith talking with Steve Lellis 